no leaving cert exam in Ireland this year, but still an anxious wait for leaving cert results, which will come in the normal way, although they are uh, accounted for differently. So it's an anxious time for those who have finished second level education, whether it's leaving cert A levels or high school. But I suggest there are skills and strategies you can put in place that will complement those academic results and may be of more benefit in 10 years time than the results themselves, the results that will be long forgotten about or never inquired about. Yes, they are important to get into that third level course if that's what you want. Uh, but there are other, as I say, strategies that you should and co can put in place. Now, what are they? It's never too early to start an email list. This is your own private email list, not a social media email list. Your own spreadsheet with names of contacts and their emails, telephone numbers if you like, as well. You should build on that and you should be consistent about adding a few names every day of friends, family, but people that would be of benefit to you and you to them an exchange of ideas and possibly business down the road. Another um, skill that you should learn is the ability to uh, do a video like this one to appear um, to and, and then the only way around that is practice and I have a lot more to do myself. But uh, a YouTube channel of your own is not out of the question. You're not here looking to make a living uh, as uh, maybe maybe you will if you do uh, break all records on YouTube. But it's practice makes perfect. And the fact is that you will have to withstand the slagging, the ribbon you're going to get for your first poor attempts. But the only way you will get good at it is to keep at it, to keep practicing. And I, I would recommend that you practice. Indeed, I'd, I'd recommend that parents encourage younger kids to do it as a bit of fun because the ability to be able to talk on screen uh, would be uh, very useful in later life. And as we know, the electronic communication is the new normal and possibly Online courses will be the new normal online conferences. They're not going away any day soon. So that's an ability. That's something that you can chalk down to lifelong learning. The ability to talk to a screen, talk into a camera. Not as easy done as said, uh, but it will come to you with, with practice. Like it's... Uh, a different skill to public speaking which is difficult too to get over that initial fear you should be aware that you will be a product of the five people closest to you that's that's fairly well sussed out at this stage so bear that in mind you will have obviously close friends and family but um, travel in the right circles uh, that that you're comfortable in yourself don't pick and choose to advance yourself but be aware that you are the product of the five people who are closest to you another trick that is sometimes advocated is that you have a list of 90 people that you would contact on a regular basis and that is from 1 to 90 and do it in rotation now, this will be easier when you have a substantial list built up, but keeping in touch is communication, uh, contacts are very, very important throughout your life. And again, it's never too soon to start. And actually replying to contacts that you get, even likes, uh, is very important as well. Obviously, everyone everyone has their own passion. It could be sport, it could be music, or it could be ac academia and history or whatever. 
But you, you should consider an online course in whatever it is that gives you a buzz. And these courses are relatively cheap. Uh, there's no pressure. You don't really care how you whether you pass an exam at the end of it or not. Uh, but if you really are passionate about something, you should consider uh, doing a, an online course or at the very least researching the, the topic online and perhaps uh, taking notes and writing notes believe it or not it will help you re remember and learn more about it and, and remember what you have learned the artificial intelligence is also the new normal um, Amazon paid one billion for the um, for a, a company that has driverless cars or has the so and that that technology is there in fact could be there any day if, if there was general agreement around the world we could have autonomous vehicles all over the place not just ready for a jet apparently but it, the technology is there so artificial intelligence is going to change the world as well so you must keep abreast of technology and there's no such thing as really the leaving cert is a misnomer now because it's all about lifelong learning, all about keeping up. And I would encourage you to do that. Some of us had to start, uh, it was a kind of a midlife crisis when the emails and that came on the scene, but we, we had to get around it. And indeed, the present situation has meant that um, older people have had no choice but to embrace technology in order to communicate with their grandchildren and uh, their nearest and dearest. And when they had to, they got around it. And they'll be experts now. They'll surprise us all. It's a matter of getting over the fear of new, um, of change, change management, if you like. It's recommended, and uh, we're all guilty of this, is talking about other people. And some firms where they had uh, problems with staff and that, they asked the staff, the people, at all ranks, management, those on the on the on the floor, everyone, to not to engage in talk about anyone else that wasn't in the room, at least negatively. And um, as I say, we're all guilty of this, and it's easier said than done. But if you make a conscious effort not to do it, it improves uh, the culture of the organization you belong to and that, that that's a proven fact and it makes sense when you think of it um, if and if you keep that on the back of your mind you won't always succeed you won't always succeed you'll always uh, drift into it because um, uh, someone has done something and it will come up in conversation but if you keep it in the back of your mind that you should try and, and, and avoid this practice of talking about others when they're not in the room, not in the company. It will improve. Uh, it'll improve how people perceive you, which is very important because uh, you want to be perceived in a good light when you're not in the room. And that brings me to ethics in life and in business. Something you should keep an eye on. What are you prepared to do? We're not all whiter than white and we all take shortcuts. We don't all obey every law that's laid down in the land and we try and get away with it as much as we can. But we should have certain ethical standards and it might seem like a small thing to take a shortcut ethically. But if you get known for that, it will damage your good name and that might affect you in other areas of your life you want to be known as somebody who doesn't talk about other people and who has a moral compass not not whiter than white uh, but has a fair ethical a trustworthy uh, persona someone that you could tell something to and it won't be blathered all over the place afterwards that's a good name to get and something to be conscious of too. 
and something that will stand to you uh, throughout your business career as well. You should uh, contemplate getting a LinkedIn account, if, whether you're in business or not. Again, it's never too soon to start. It's not the same as Facebook and Twitter. It's not for uh, your latest uh, ev uh, weekend events or conquests. But it, again, would help you to build up a following and uh, maybe the maybe the serious side of you could come out in LinkedIn. A bit of humour is no harm on it either. But uh, use it for uh, potential business or contacts. Again, contacts is all about contacts in your life. And well, a lot easier start now than to be scrambling trying to uh, get a following in five or ten years time so the main thing is to be consistent about this to try and keep building these contacts on a daily kind of a routine something you do every day so this is um, these are lifelong skills and as i said they might be very valuable to you it mightn't seem at the moment that they are very important but they might one one very important contact made today might prove very important to you in, in the years to come uh, because there is a, no point embarking on business or embarking on a career without contacts in the financial matters i'm not uh, want, I don't want you to go wild but it might be no harm to if you really have your your heart set on something to borrow money a modest amount of money to to buy something let it be uh, a surfboard or a racing bike or whatever you are comfortable with but it's no harm to have a, a credit rating that will believe it or not, a small amount will build up your credit rating and that's something that will stand to you as time goes on and it may be, make it easier for you to, uh, when an opportunity arises, uh, to borrow bigger amounts. All uh, well thought out, that uh, uh, nothing too dangerous I hope, but uh, no harm to consider a modest amount to start with. These are all some of the things you might contemplate doing using the time that's available to you now to uh, assist you throughout your journey through life, whether that's in business as an entrepreneur yourself, you, do, you don't know where the next, there are a few in your class and you may be one of them that who know exactly what they want and where they're going, but for the majority, I suspect and even sort of A level, high school, they don't exactly know what career, what path life is going to bring them on. And all these little tips are worth considering because they will, I believe, be of assistance to you in the journey ahead, I, both professionally and in friendships. You may be very glad of uh, some of the friendships that you will make uh, through, by having contacts and by reaching out to others. So that's um, something to consider as you wait with bated breath for those results that seem to be the be-all and end-all of everything at the moment. <laughs>